welcome to my kitchen. We're here today and we're going to work with some rocks to make beautiful pendants and, and other items that you might find to be beautiful as well and maybe you would like to try yourself. Um, the rocks that you find in nature are often very bland and you, you really can't see the beauty in them and we're going to try to bring that out. The pendant that I'm wearing right now, and I'll take it out and put it down and zoom in so that you can take a closer look, I think is a fine example of how beautiful a stone can be if you just give it a little care and, and shine it up and it'll look beautiful. The first thing that you're going to want to do is find some stones that you think are very pretty or have the potential to be pretty. Now, you find a, a sealer, um, what I happen to have is a gloss glaze, and the most important thing that you want to find is that it's non-yellowing and it's a crystal clear finish. Now, you take a brush, I like to work on wax paper just to be able to keep things clean and then to be able to remove them if anything were to get stuck. But if you look, put a little bit on the brush and then you take one of your stones and you just put it on there. And as you can see, it really starts to bring out the coloring and the stripes that it has and it brings out a great deal of depth in the stone. And, that lot in back. and that's the way that it'll, it'll dry. If you look at this one, this brings out a lot of the grays and the oranges and as it soaks in it really becomes more and more beautiful. And the ones that I like are the ones that have the stripes on them because that really starts to come out when you start to do it. And it really gives it a lot of depth. Here's a pretty, a pretty pink one. Let's put it on there and see what happens. And sometimes you really never know what you're going to come up with until it's finished. See, look at the green and, and the, the cracks and everything that come through in that. It really, really is beautiful. There's another gray one, but it looks like it has, see look, it'll bring out the white spots on it and the dark spots that you can't see when it's dry. And then here's one, a rock that I found in case you can't find any rocks around you, but usually you can. I mean, here's one from a craft store that was in the, one of those floral arrangement bags that I just took out and put it on there and it really turned out pretty too. It has a little bit of like a jade turquoise quality to it. Here's one with a beautiful gray in between and then the, the lighter areas around. There's so much beautiful, so many beautiful things in nature. Now here's a white one with some black in there. Let's see what happens here. See, that looks pretty too. And as they dry, sometimes they just become more and more beautiful. So let's close this up. And we'll switch over to some of the ones that I have done already. And just let them dry on one side, and then when that side is dry, you just flip them over and you keep working. Now, here are some. This happens to be one of my favorites, and I don't know if you can see, but on the one side, I mean, it has all this beautiful coloring, and then if you turn it over, it even has a break in it to where I just think it gives it that much more character. Here's a beautiful one that has all these beautiful stripes across it, and you could, you know, you could mount it in a number of different ways. This one's beautiful, too. It just has all these cracks in it. It almost looks like a cracked egg. And even the plain ones, those are beautiful too once you put the, the finish on it and gloss it up. Here's one that has beautiful oranges in it, grays, beiges. And the imperfections, I just think, bring out that much more. Now even the little ones, you might think, what would you do with the little ones? Well, here's some beautiful stones that I found up by Lake Erie. And even if you take a very plain one like this, which is beautiful by itself, either side. You can even take a little white one and put it on there to give it a different look. Because that would be a beautiful, that would be a beautiful pendant as well. 
And then even if you use something like a snail shell, that's beautiful too. If, if you were to take even perhaps a larger one and put it on there, that's, you know, that's really pretty. And then don't, you know, don't forego like driftwood or, or little pieces of wood, because if you start combining items, again, they just really turn out to be creative, individual, and nobody else is going to have that. So, what we're going to do next, at craft stores you can find all kinds of bindings and things to put pendants on. I just happen to have one of these at the moment that we can do. And I'm just going to do a quick example of how to, how to put together one of the pendants. And you just want a glue that's going to, it could be an epoxy, it could be any number of things that you want to just glue together. I'm going to do, I think, my favorite one, if I can find it. And since I really like that cut in there, I think I'm going to try to put that in front. So if you take it, you put a little bit, follow the directions on whatever glue you have, but it's usually pretty basic. Just go ahead and put it on, keep some on there. You do want to try to be neat about it. Glue it together, and you're just going to want to let it sit until the directions tell you that it's okay to go. I like to clean up some of the areas before it dries just because it looks a little bit nicer. So there you go. There's a beautiful pendant. You attach it to a chain or it could be a black cord like what I have on. And then you just let it dry and you have a beautiful pendant. Now here, here's the one that I have on. And that is also a beautiful it's got all these depths, it's got some clear areas, some beige areas, we have white veins going through there. It really turned out beautiful, and on a cord like that, you could wear that with anything. So I just wanted to share that craft with you, and if you have any questions, please feel free to email me. We're going to mount some of these stones, some of the more beautiful stones, and put them on online for purchase, and those will be available as always at www.chick-e.com and that'll be at the end of the video and always we appreciate comments and, and suggestions and we'll see you next time. Bye!